On today's episode of What's Going On With Shipping, shipping is going green. Hi, I'm your host, Sal Mercagliano. Welcome to today's episode. So one of the things, trends we're seeing in ocean shipping today is to reduce the footprint that the ocean shipping is having on the world, and particularly in terms of emissions. The International Maritime Organization in 2020 set forth a goal that by 2050, global shipping will reduce 50% its emissions based on 2008 levels. So that's a big goal. I mean, they're trying to get the largest objects ever created by humans to reduce their carbon emissions and their global footprint by 50%. Big, big effort right here. However, there's one company that has already jumped the shark and figured out how to do that. And we're going to take a look at that company today. If you're new to the channel, hey, take a moment, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, so you'll be alerted about new videos as they come out. All right. Let's take a look at some green shipping. This is a story over in G Captain. Sail powered shipping company Eco Clipper on maiden voyage. So, Eco Clipper is an emissions free cargo company that has set sail for the first time. Eco Clipper is a sustainable shipping company launched in 2018 that uses sailing cargo ships in order to reduce fuel consumption and emissions from ocean transport. Using D. Tucker, I'm going to say that, that's the right name, a retrofitted sailing ship built in, hang on, 1912. Yes, 1912. We're talking about a ship 111 years old uh, eco clipper is sending its first shipment from amsterdam to porto and porto is in portugal so let's take a look at this company the d tucker and what they're trying to do so here's their website i'll have the link to it in the show notes really interesting company and with great information uh absolutely fantastic if you want to go to the site i, I really recommend you take a look at it. Uh, They talk about their travel. They talk about shipping. They talk about investing in this. They have plans for a new ship, uh, actually a whole series of ships so that you can invest in it. And of course, news and a whole slew of information that I want to kind of take you through here. They got five crew members on board and five trainees. This ship is powered by 300 square meters of sail. Uh, can carry about 70 cubic meters or equivalent of 50 to 70 tons. So this equates to about two 20-foot equivalent units or one FEU, one 40-foot equivalent unit. Put that in perspective, the largest container ships in the world today are over 24,000 containers. So uh, a ship like Everlot, which is one of the biggest container ships, can carry 12,000 times the volume of this vessel. Uh, But again, this is doing it without emissions, which is a big thing, but it also has 10 people on board. The entire crew of Everlot is about 25 people. So what you see here is the scale differences here. Everlot also goes a lot faster. It's not dependent on wind. And also this is a pretty small boat and it's going to get tossed around in anything more than rough weather. The first cargo on board is produced by the Dutch chocolate maker, Chocolate Makers, ironic name, uh, and destined for European uh, distribution by sail cargo brokers, New Dawn Train. Uh, The cacao used in the chocolates production process was shipped from the Dominican Republic by fellow sail cargo vessels, Tre Hombres, and will reach consumers with a minimum of harmful harmful emissions produced in its transport. Yes, I not unless they have a sail powered truck that's going to meet them at the dock and take it to the stores. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some emissions involved in here. The Tucker's currently scheduled destinations are Porto, uh, Noir, Moitier, Saint Nazaire, Penzance. It's Penzance. Hopefully, they don't run in the pirates. Sorry, I had to do it. It's the the obligatory uh, uh, pirates of Penzance, uh, Torquay, and London. However, depending on the needs of exporters and consumers, Eco Clipper is open to adding additional ports to the r- route. Okay, this is pure vanity. Obviously, you're going to ship very small cargoes based on this, and of course, they're going to be expensive because of the additional cost associated with it. It is interesting that now you can have this chocolate maker advertise that the, the the product is made with almost no emissions. And I guarantee you there will be a market of some kind for this. So this is the Eco Clipper route that they're showing right now in Europe. So obviously they're call, covering Northern Europe. For a sail-powered vessel, you can do this. This is the vessel itself. They have a great section here 
on the vessel so you can take a look at it. Obviously, a vessel this old is, is pretty historic, but it's really interesting. They have photos. They break it down below decks. Talk about the galleys. The, uh, the images here are just really, really good if you want to scroll through and take a look at the vessel. It is beautiful. I'm not going to lie. I, I wouldn't mind uh, taking a sail on it, but I've been on sailing vessels before. It's not always uh, for everyone. Uh, here's the vessel on Vessel Finder where you can follow it. Here's the sailing schedule. It's also interesting to note that they have the uh, cost of the sale. So if you're picking this vessel up in Porto and you're going to make the run up to France, it'll cost you about 1144 euros. Uh, if you do the uh, vessel between French ports, only about $500. And then from St. Nazaire to Penzance, $704. But again, it helps defray costs. And understand, back in the day, this is what you did on cargo vessels. You brought passengers on board to help defray it. So this is a model that is not actually too far off the beaten path. So if you go over to their Twitter page, you can actually get videos of the vessel underway at sea. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. I love sailing. It's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, I used to sail when I worked in D.C. over in Chesapeake uh, Bay on log canoes, uh, one of my favorite things. I've been on three-masted vessels, and there's just something about being underway with sail power that's just great. And, and this is a pretty interesting voyage that you can go on. Check out their Twitter page. I'll have the link below. So Eco Clipper has a plan, and what they want to build is larger general sail cargo ships. And understand, sail cargo ships up, up to the early part of the 20th century were pretty commonplace. Matter of fact, the U.S. for a long time operated sail cargo ships for long-distance voyages because it was more economical when you were going longer distance to use sail power versus steam power, especially when you were powered by coal. Coal took up a lot of room in vessels until you really switch over to oil and come up with methods where you can get oil any place. Sail power was a method. Matter of fact, up until the 1950s, we saw sail-powered vessels. The Pamir, uh, which was a Finnish vessel, was around for a long time. But here, what they're planning to do is build these new vessels, these new clipper ships, able to carry about 500 tons with about 12 passengers on board, uh, 12 crew, and up to 36 trainees to train people in how to be sailors, which is, an, again, another interesting model that we see being executed here by this company, uh, very innovative. So Eagle Clipper has this concept and other companies are following suit with these small little niche sailing vessels operating between places. We've seen this with coffee trade in the Caribbean, for example. Now we're seeing it with chocolate in Europe being moved around. And I have to say, we're seeing more innovation in the concept of the delivery of cargoes. But I don't think we've gone far enough. While sail is an interesting model, I can go even better. That's why you, the viewer of what's going on with shipping, will have the opportunity, the opportunity, I tell you, to invest in a whole new form of shipping with a new shipping company altogether. That's right. We're proud here at What's Going On With Shipping to announce the creation of the Mercogliano Shipping Company. That's right. I'm creating my own shipping company, your opportunity to get in at the bottom and be an owner of Mercogliano Shipping Company. We are completely green, more green than Eco Clippers because our vessels don't even have sails. That's right. It's just a big rowboat. That's right. We just take big rowboats. We put your container in the boat. Then using ocean currents alone, we kick it off from the shore and catch it after it crosses the Atlantic of the Pacific. You need to get a container from Europe to America? No problem. We'll kick it off from the western coast of Europe and it should wash up along the eastern shore of the United States within a few weeks weeks or months. Hey, you got a container that needs to go from Shanghai to LA or Long Beach? We got you covered. We will put that in one of our tr trademarked, technologically designed rowboats, put it in there, kick it off into the Western Pacific, and within a few months, it should arrive, should arrive along the coast of California. That's right, Mercagliano Shipping Company, MSC, we will be the largest shipping company in the world, I guarantee you, within a short period of time. Just go look it up. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hey, take a moment, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you'll be alerted about new videos as they come out. Leave a comment, share it across social media, give it a thumbs up, and if you can, support the page. How do you support the page? Well, you know, I'm gonna need support. I mean, I gotta get this fleet of rowboats up. You can hit that super thanks button down below or head on over to Patreon where you can become a monthly or yearly subscriber. Until our next episode, what? There is an MSC? Who knew? Until our next episode, the Sal 
signing off.